My story at the Use of Eye Doc dates back to my first event as a doctor covering a professional rugby match. It was the first time I'd actually covered any such event and I was really, really nervous and sort of keen to impress the team that I was hopefully going to be involved with. Everything was going fine during the game. I was starting to relax when, as typical for rugby, two players suddenly collided, one hitting the deck face down. It soon became apparent that the one side of his face was starting to rapidly swell up and he was complaining of severe pain. We obviously had to quickly get him off the pitch and down in the medical room we were able to examine him and it quite soon became apparent that he had a potentially serious facial fracture and one that in the injury pattern can have severe effects on the eyesight. However, at the time, the player seemed actually quite comfortable and I used iDoc to basically calm my thought process, with the adrenaline pumping, make sure as I examined him that I wasn't missing any key features. I was able to sort of quite confidently say, no, actually he's okay at the minute. We don't need to be rushing to call the ambulance to blue light him into hospital. And I also actually used iDoc to show him and his partner a picture just to be able to explain to him features to look out for in the time frame it took him and his partner to get to the hospital and if there was any delay in them being seen at the hospital. Which was really nice because actually trying to explain things to non-medical people is a lot easier I find if you have pictures. So after he'd gone off to hospital obviously it was a lot of relief and he actually came back to me later and said that my suspected diagnosis was correct and that the hospital were really happy with what we had done. So that was obviously a really nice confidence booster in some ways to know that actually if you're ever unsure, use IDOC as your backup and it won't lead you far wrong.